Hey, you want to see my lens, baby? I'm sure many of you out there either own one of these fine lenses, or at least you're aware of them and what they can do. And if you don't know, what they do is they create a soft focus effect that's a lot of fun because you can move it around. And I find it's a very dynamic lens and there's really no other lens or accessory that's either as fun or as dynamic to use in this lens baby. And truly a joy to work with. Highly recommend it. The only problem is, well, sometimes you show up on location or in the studio for a photo shoot and you just don't have one with you. You forgot to bring it. In which case, what you can do is recreate that lens baby effect using Photoshop CS4. So we'll start by duplicating the background layer. And on a Macintosh, press Command J, or on a PC, that'd be Control J. Duplicate your background layer, and we're going to make this layer all blurry. Much like, try to simulate that uh, lens baby effect. So we'll add a Gaussian blur. Um, this is a radius of 8 pixels. I think it's going to work for this image. It's only a, it's a low-res JPEG, only 800 pixels wide. If I were using a full-frame, full-res image, I would need to have a higher setting in order to achieve this level of blur. And just to go another step further, we're going to add a little motion blur. Because that lens baby, I find, especially towards the edges... Uh, not only is it very blurry, but it, I think it looks has a little bit of a motion blur streakiness to it. So now that we have this duplicate background layer all blurry looking, what we're going to do is just punch a hole in it to reveal the sharp image underneath. And I think a likely candidate for the sharp portion of this image is the baby and maybe the chinny chin chin on this man. So... I'm going to, oh, it's already selected. Well, select your elliptical marquee tool. And pressing the option key on a Mac or the alt key on a PC, you can create a selection that goes from the center outwards. And I find doing this while using the elliptical marquee tool makes it uh, much easier to see or to place the circle. And even so, I'm going to nudge it up just a little more. To make sure we get the chinny chin chin on this guy. And then you want to check your feather. It should have a pretty strong feather. Right, 10 pixels is probably not enough. I'm going to go with 40. And then here's a, a quick tip within a tip. What we're going to do now is just delete the center portion. But if I press delete, I would delete... Um, probably the four and the feather and I wouldn't end up with much of a feather so just make sure go over here and select reselect your layer one so when you press delete it actually deletes the the layer and not your number in the feather field so here we go delete and voila we have somewhat of a faux lens baby effect but this can be better. It's kind of simple. Um, one of the things that that lens does is it provides oh, mixed areas of sharpness and soft focus. So I want to have this side, the right side of this guy's face, I want to have that. I want to see some detail in there. Okay. Didn't like that. I'll go we'll pick a smaller radius of 10 for a small selection and I'm going to give it a proper placement like so and again just hit the delete key and that's looking pretty close to something like you get with the lens baby I would still have a lot more fun if I'd actually used that lens on this image but I think this is a, a, a pretty good quick simulation of that lens using Photoshop CS4. And this is what we started with and after a quick minute or two in Photoshop we have that interesting effect. Until next time, we'll see you on the slopes.